simple truth about stocks is that stock charts reflect the collective mind of everyone involved in the market. That's the whole essence of technical indicators that lots of traders study on charts. A simplest example I can give is the emotion of greed sets in when the bandwagon effect occurs on a stock. Now, when fear occurs on a stock, the exact opposite happens. Everybody sells and the stock crashes. So right there we got greed. One reason we know it's kicked in is because the volume <clears throat> is above normal right there. With the upside on the stock, which means the greed bandwagon has begun. Now, the reason we know fear has set in heavy is because the volume is super high on that downside. And, of course, the stock crashes. Now, let's take a closer look at that crash because here's another interesting angle. This is a 60-minute chart of the same stock. There's your crash. And look at that. The stock bounces sharply. How could you have predicted that? One possible way is to draw a moving average through that chart. And on the crash, as soon as it crosses that moving average line, that means it's reversed. A lot of traders use this type of indicator to spot a trend reversal. Here's even more powerful ways, an indicator called the MACD histogram. It's one of my favorites. And the MACD histogram is really a series of bars that look like thus. When the red starts going less red and then turns green, the stock has reversed, usually. Now, here's a good example of where that held true all year on this one stock called TRN. Where I have circled there is every place where that histogram went from red to green. It worked there, it worked there, it worked there. It worked there, it worked there, it worked there. Look at that, almost 100%. The stock did well. So the new trader discovers this and thinks, I have found the holy grail. Except there's one problem. <clears throat> Let's look at the MACD histogram on the same time period for Twitter, TWTR. Each one of those circles is the, is the histogram going from red to green. Right there, it failed. It fell down, not up. Right there, it failed for a, like a week and a half. Right there, it went up a little bit, then it crashed. It failed there. It finally worked there for about a month. It crashed there. And right there, it went sideways. So the histogram for Twitter is abysmal. It's the same histogram, the same time period. So that leads the trader to wonder, well, what's wrong with my charts? You know, what, I need to find a better indicator. The histogram doesn't work. Ah, but you see, that's the wrong approach, because not all stocks are created equal. And what happens is the trader gets confused, especially the beginning trader, and he, he needs more and more indicators. More and more indicators are studied. None work across all stocks, of course. And this leads to spider web charts. This is what I call a chart with, you know, 16 different indicators. And it leads to endless filters and setups. That's how I came out with something called track trading. Now, track trading is a powerful feature in stock vision, and it works as follows. What it does not do is what everyone else seems to do, which is you run an indicator, let's such as MACD histogram, and you look for stocks. Okay, like you look for stocks that have that indicator kicking in. That's not the correct approach because of the fact that not every one of those stocks is going to respond favorably to MACD histogram. So what we do is we take the individual stock and analyze it for which indicator is best for that stock. And then if the stock exhibits that pattern, boy, then you have something. You see that. So in this example, if it discovers that that fourth indicator gets a plus 78 rating, let's say it's from 0 to 100, 100 being perfect, 0 being a disaster, this indicator here for that stock is a 78 if that pattern kicks in. And it, you can't get any better than that. 
This is done for you automatically in real time. And that's what track trading is all about. You simply download, install, and run Stock Vision. And I'll run it for you right now. You see, to get track trading, you just click the track trading view, which is right here. Now, your list turns into the track trading list. The, the, the main thing is the track trading score. See, that column there is the score for track trading. The top guy here has 88.23. <clears throat> down here, when you click on that, down here, it tells you, yeah, down here it tells you which indicator has kicked in and which is good for that stock. It says that the positive MACD has increased. If we click on it, it shows us all the places in the chart <clears throat> where that pattern is held true. And if you look at that closely, you'll see those yellow marks every time that pattern was true. And it looks to me like it has produced an overwhelming number of times favorably. So it's saying that that pattern has kicked in right now, so it has a good probability of winning. So this analysis screen over here tells you the chances of the, uh, of the <clears throat> stock advancing based on the pattern that is being exhibited and its track record. It also gives you the sample size, which <clears throat> tells us how many occurrences it looked at. Anyhow, that's the essence of track trading. You can do the long or the short side. If you go the short side, it'll sort by negative score, which is negative track trading. In other words, what stock is likely to crash? And same thing. The analysis down here will give you the negative aspects. All right. That's the deal. And it doesn't get any better than this for easy, simple stock screening.